All right, everyone, welcome to another Tuesday review. And this time we're playing a game called Pico Pico, a game where you play as a girl named Pico who is wielding a toy hammer that is also known as a Pico Pico hammer. And that's where we get the name from. This game is on Steam. It's currently about $15 regular price. And the game has a real kind of nonsensical story to it. It's kind of just, you run with it, you kind of go with it and just keep on pushing forward and see what happens next. And it's a bit kooky like that, but is it fun? Is it worth your time? Should you look into this game? Let's get into it and find out. So you have a couple options on the menu here, play game, boss rush, or just exit. Uh, I will say that when you pl are playing the game, there's no way to really exit back to this menu. So if you do get this and do play it, you might want to keep it in windowed mode. Uh, it's not for any consoles, it's just on Steam, and I wouldn't recommend trying it on the Steam Deck, but you can try and see if it'll work for you, but I don't think it's gonna work really well. I'm not willing to try at least. You're gonna play a game and you have save slots you can choose here. When you choose a new sla save slot, you choose a new game. If you choose a previous save slot, it defaults to delete, which is kind of strange. I'm going to think you default to load game and then you know move over to delete in case you want to delete the game. So a bit of an odd choice there. I'm not sure why. I'm going to delete this game real quick though. I'm going to start a new game. And this right here kind of shows you some of the general gameplay. Uh, you can move around, you can jump, double jump, you can do a downward smash with the hammer. Your hammer is a toy plastic hammer, but it actually does do damage to enemies. Some enemies you'll want to bop them on the head to stun them. Bosses, you'll want to hit them on the head so many times, depending on how many hearts are next to the life bar, is how many times you have to hit them in the head to stun them. And once you stun them, you can actually do more damage. You can also use it to break blocks. Some enemies like that are one shot by the stun. So those little spike balls, you can get rid of them faster. Whereas if I just swing my hammer to hit them, it just takes a lot more hits to do so. So it's a little faster way of defeating those enemies. You also use that to hit switches here and open ways. Um, there's other abilities that will open past. The game doesn't really explain a lot of that to you, so be warned. So there's really kind of no uh, explanation aside from just quick tutorial on basic gameplay. Now here's the boss fight right here, stun them. Oh, here, stun them on the head, bam. And then you do a bunch of damage. Keep whirling on them until they're done. Some bosses you can stun them once and get them. They're pretty easy. Some bosses you have to stun multiple times and then whale on them with the hammer. So it just depends. There's also a drill attack you'll get. There's a uh, heat power up where you basically get to add fire to your hammer and also do kind of like a localized like quick fire explosion and then your attacks have fire on them for a brief moment you also get this sort of like heart beam heart laser i guess that does some damage to enemies can kind of clear enemies ahead of you and like i said the story itself is a bit nonsensical i mean it, it really has no rhyme or reason or no explanation like things just happen and you don't know exactly why there's not exactly a coherent plot you just kind of are along for the ride which in a, you know in a good game that can actually work in a game that actually is very functional it could be a fun time now if i get into the menu like i was showing you oh um, this is the menu right here there's not a lot to it it really isn't i mean you can go back which means it's basically going back to the screen you have status which just shows your secondary character who kind of assists you uh, x is your attack which is your attack combo uh, jump double jump air attack which we all went through is a charge attack and an air charge attack which it, it's there but you have to find an item to use it same with the dash again you have to find an item to use it special attack up in a we don't have that you need to find an item to use it and when you find the item, the game doesn't actually tell you what you found. It's just, you gotta try to figure out what it is that you just picked up. You have a map here, which basically just has like a target. Uh, it fills in as you go, you can backtrack. So it's kind of a small Metroidvania type game. You can go into options, but it's not very functional. And like I said, 
it from this menu. There's no way to go back to the main menu to exit the game. You kind of have to just leave it in windowed mode and close it up when you're done. There are like health power-ups you can find as well. So those are kind of cool. There's uh, power-ups for the drill. So you find the drill, but then you find more drills to, I guess, power up your drill. So there's really not much explanation as to what just happened when you find things. You just find things. These statues save, although there is a glitch on one of the statues where it will heal you, but it won't save your game. So that's kind of strange. And also the save locations on the map aren't exactly accurate. So you see the map says, oh, there's a save location here, and it's actually on the next screen. There's some areas where if you find a uh, secret in one area, there's another spot where you can actually seemingly find another secret, but you end up glitching the game and you essentially have a game breaking bug in that um, you can also find yourself somewhere where you're not you're not able to actually go forward at all you can't really do anything so you can actually have that happen to you that happened to me i had to restart my game start a brand new game because i'd saved it and it seemed like i was kind of essentially soft locked into this spot that i had no idea how to get out of I didn't seem to have an ability to get out of it. I didn't have any way of getting out of it. So I just had to, to basically start the game over. It's a spot where you're supposed to sit on a bench to progress the story. And like any other time you have a triangle up in front of a person, in front of something to interact with, you push the up button. But no, the up button doesn't work. Instead, you have to jump, essentially. And then it triggers the cutscene. It's bizarre as can be it makes no sense there's no explanation that this is what you need to do i had to go online to find this out so gameplay it's interesting i mean it's it seems to have a lot going here and a lot of potential that's the thing is there's all kinds of potential here as the game st sits right here i i had hopes for this game i'd been watching this game while it was in early access and hoping like hey this game might actually be something worth trying. And currently at the price that it's at, I'm gonna say don't even bother. I mean, if you get it at a good price on sale, then check it out. It's kind of a curiosity. It seems like a developer's first game. So I don't wanna be like too hard on someone who's like just putting a game out there for the first time. So you're better off just kind of holding it off and not paying full price for this game. Just get something out there that's actually a much more polished game. Uh, for what this game is, I'd say I'd maybe have it at like $5, maybe $5, and then it could be worth your while just to kind of check out, see what the game might be. Um, but unless you can get it for around that price, I'd pass on this one. And I mean, a lot of credit to whoever made this game for making the kind of game they did. I think with a bit of work, this game could be a lot more and a much lower price point. But as it sits right here, I can't rightfully recommend this game, and I hate to say that, but I have to be honest, I just really can't recommend you uh, you buy this game full price. So that's my review for this game. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. You all are amazing. Uh, be sure to, to check out my other stuff if you want to. Of course, if you want to, feel free to follow me on this channel. Uh, you don't have to. I just appreciate you being here. But if you want to, yeah, absolutely feel free to follow. Uh, feel free to thumbs up the video if you want. You don't have to, of course. And if you feel like it, go ahead and drop a comment down below. In fact, you can recommend a game for me to play and review, and I'll be more than happy to do so. So thanks for watching. Appreciate you. We'll see you next time. But until then, stay awesome, and we'll see you then.